this week we have a really cheap $230 RX 488GB from Asus ROG Strix and this card is capable of doing 32 mega ashes per second. Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video from Bird1. Claymore has released a new V8.1 miner for Ethereum. So you can mine Ethereum and Ethereum Classic with this. But if you want to go ahead and download the original files, you'll have to go to the topic over here on bitcointalk.org and I will put the links in the description below and even the codes you have to put in the start miners if you want to do it yourself. But I'm going to show you how to do it and do it the easy way. So first of all you can download the RAR files from my Google Drive and you can extract them to anywhere you want on your desktop or whatsoever and today I'm going to show you how to do it for Windows. So this is a ready to go miner so I, I put in two or three files into uh, the miner itself and it is for 2GB cards, 4 and 8GB cards and I added a start miner for Ethereum Classic for people who want to mine Ethereum Classic. So it's just a small example of how to change that but I'm gonna show you how to do it and what you need to adjust. So first of all, you need to go ahead and right click the miner you selected, like if you have four or eight gigabyte cards, you will have to edit this file and just right click it and edit. So you will have to open it in Notepad or anything and you will see that it is asking for a uh, server so we have a few servers for ethereum uh, it's eu1 eu2 uh, usa1 and even china is cn1 and you need to change that for example if you live in uh in uh, usa we make it us1 and that's the only thing you need to change on that the next thing you need to change is your address of course because otherwise you will get payouts onto my address and soon enough I will show you how to make your own address in a video too because a few people have asked for that and I will definitely do that in the future too. So we also have to give our miner a name so I call this one the SSM X2 F it has sapphire cards of actually 8 gigabyte cards so we change that too. So it's RX 470s with 8 gigabyte but you can name it anything you want. Uh, you could for example just call it uh, your miner or default it just doesn't matter. But after that you just have to save it and you're ready to go and you can uh, run the miner and start mining from here. So now I'm already mining on the new system and what has changed so far uh, they added a new Ethereum mining with Pascal coin for Nvidia cards. So if you want to go ahead and mine Pascal coin with Ethereum at the same time with your Nvidia cards, you're really lucky because they introduced it into this new miner for 8.1. So hopefully you all enjoyed the video and if you still have questions, just put it in the comments below and we'll try, try to help you out as soon as we can. So hope you all enjoyed the video and see you guys in the next one.